Hello guys, good day to all of you. So by the way, it's me again, God Frey. So today I have a new lesson, a new tutorial for the Boss GT10. So before that, please subscribe on my channel guys. Please don't forget to um, support my channel. Please subscribe now. And please do some comments, any question. Maybe I will know how to answer you guys. Maybe I know the answer. And please don't forget to click the like button. And please um, share it to the other people who has a Boss GT10. If you have friends with Boss GT10, you can share it. And for now, I'm very thankful that you're supporting my channel. So guys, I have this is preset 1, subscribe now, preset 2, comment now, preset 3, like now, and preset 4, thanks for watching. So, we will focus on subscribe now patches. So guys, how to create uh, patches here in patch 1. So the thing is, first of all, you need to know your output select. Click your output select. If you want lines you want stack return you can choose whatever you like so for me i like lines and bones and then go to system sometimes some of you wants a manual manual mode so go to manual mode manual setting enter check the manual mode settings is this uh, the settings that you want if you want chorus in your patch one here, you can scroll it and find chorus. Okay, you can change everything. Okay, but this patch one, I want to use my FX one. FX two is my patch two. Patch three is my delay. Patch four is my overdrive distortion. My bank up is my boost EQ my bank down is my chorus so I use manual setting in my patch subscribe now okay that's the setting I have so if you want that that settings click right and then save it to your first four patch and then the next thing you need to do is check your check your click master pedal effects Check your FX chain. Go to FX chain. The FX chain is very important. So my FX chain from my guitar, it's my wah wah, my compressor, my overdrive distortion. If I have extra pedal, I will put my send and return here. And say I have TC elect TC electronics or any zoom pedals that produce different sounds that the GT10 doesn't have. I can put in send and return. I put send and return here because sometimes I want to put my over my rat or my flow rat or my anything. My distortion, overdrive and distortion, that's what I want. So the digital out. Next is the DGT. My digital out is when you put your iPad to produce a piano sound sometimes oh, I put the DGT here in my clean tone here sometimes okay the DGT now is here you can scroll it whatever you want the DGT is now here or here it's up to you guys um, but for me I don't use any iPad or laptop so the digital out must I'll put it here so the channel A and my channel B in my channel A, I use two amplifier here now. I use two amp and I use two amp. So on the first piece, I use clean channel. This is my JC120 and this is my Fender Twin Amp. So when I press Control One, the amp here becomes uh, Marshall and the channel B becomes became um, rectifier preamp. So I have noise gate together with the preamp so I put my EQ here because I want to put boost to my drive pedals 
or to my preamp pedals to my clean tone and drive pedals so i put foot volume here for swelling so my fx1 guys the fx1 um i have two modulation effects running in my fx1 these two are pacer and flanger they are both and uh, they are running individually so when i press control 2 sometimes become pacer and flanger here in my fx2 it's the same i have two modulation effects running here when i press control 2 it changes also i have tremolo and univibe here so all in all i have, I have four for modulation here in fx1 and fx2 controlled by control 2 i have chorus delay reverb and my looper so first if you want to put your delay next to the and uh, before the chorus or after the chorus it's up to you so check your fx chain if it's in order this is my fx chain from guitar pedal and that's it this is very important guys if you want to put fx1 in the channel channel a it's good also and the fx2 in channel b it's up to you but i want to put this one here because i use um oh, i use dual left and right so both of my preamps are running in perfect time. Okay. FX chain ah. Don't forget go to master pedal. If you go to master pedal, this is the uh, display mode. And then find FX chain. Enter. Okay. And after that, after you're doing it, after you fix the output select your system in your manual settings if you're comfortable with this go to your master pedal effects find your fx chain enter arrange your pedals here okay delay and then reverb and then my looper okay so no. you can save it you can save it right but it's not yet done guys so now you need to calibrate all your pedals here so i didn't calibrate it today it's just an example because i don't have guitar here at this time i cannot play the guitar it's only a tutorial for your beginning guys so my compressor is on and preamp is on i will show you what i have said that i have four preamp running here um on my first base i have dc 120 in preamp a and in preamp b i have clean twin okay two amps running together dual left and right so if i put my left mono this is my clean twin this is my jc120 the r right output and left input jc120 and my fender twin clean tone and when you scroll it guys uh, it's not only an example you can calibrate it on your own because every guitar pickups different tone so different calibration guys so you see in preamp a i have jc120 in preamp b i have clean twin so when i press control one my jc120 will change it become martial and my preamp b it become rectifier so in my left left and right channel both of them are different amps now rectifier and marshall rectifier and marshall so when i press it different clean clean amp okay they are different when i press it it's marshall and it's rectifier so i have four amps there so my eq uh this one i didn't change anything i just showing you how to create patches but calibrating the effects it's up to you now guys it's not my thing it's up to you now so you have in eq you have four pages one two three four five five pages sorry 
it's up to you guys you can change it according to your tone so you see in my FX one as I told you I have two effects here and two effects here so in my FX one I have baser when I press ctrl 2 it become flanger but this one is off right how can I turn it on if I'm using the both of the control 1 and control 2 as I said I use the manual mode settings so when I press patch 1 it become the FX1 became on it turned on in manual mode settings patch 1 subscribe now okay if I press the control 3 this is my control 3 this is my control 4 so control 3 is changing the set man the manual changing it into manual mode settings so this is how I turn on and off my FX here oh. FX2 delay overdrive distortion this this one is my chorus this one is my EQ boost okay do you understand me guys that manual mode settings is very important to your boss GT10 okay it will help you a lot to turn on and off the amps and the control one is controlling the calibration of your pedal effects so on my overdrive distortion guys oh wait we're here in effects one I'm sorry so I have two pacer and flanger so when, when once I press this one my FX2 is also changing Univibe and Tremolo you see Univibe and Tremolo it changes guys so both of them together is changing using the control 2 but why it has a light I put light so that I may remember that Univibe is with LED lights and without lights it's Tremolo same here in Pacer without lights Pacer with lights Flanger so it's very easy to remember because of the LED lights. So you need to um, edit the LED here. I will show you how later. Delay. Uh, my delay. Just don't mind my setting. Don't copy my setting. It's just an example, guys. I don't calibrate it, guys. My chorus and my plate. Reverb. So, in my overdrive distortion, I run two overdrive here. One is the tube screamer, and one is rat. Once I press Control Four, it changes from to tube screamer to rat. So my tube screamer is running, and I press Control Four, it became rat. So very, very helpful if you have control food switch uh, this one is very cheap you can buy it online so remember the light is very important without light it's sub screamer with light is my rat proper rat so how did I do it guys so first I will teach you go to master uh, effects go to pedal effects enter you see led t9 led t9 pedal effects wah wah so I put LED T9, it's indicating it has a light. That's the purpose of LED toggle switch. It has a light. Okay, that's the purpose of it. So this is my Wawa. I use foot volume and Wawa. Cry baby, you can change. In page 2, page 1, page 2 is my Cry baby. You have plenty box Wawa, what Wawa. Okay page 4 your pitch you can do dive bomb just scroll it down it's dive bomb already guys dive bomb you can do dive bomb guys it's up to you and this is my volume if you want 0 if you want 50 or 100 50 if you do your pedal like this it's already has a sound it's 50 50 volume and then if you want to use the volume pedal as your boost when you boost it it became 100 okay so 50 that's already have, have a sound so zero no sound okay 
that is the pedal effects click master pedal okay again click master pedal pedal effects we have four pages in master in pedal effects okay and then exit now we will assign this control one two three four in controlling the parameters of the effects changing the pedals okay go to assign button sign click enter so in your assign button guys you have plenty of pages we have page one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have we only have eight pages to control all the pedals that we have here using the control one control two control three control four extra pedal or your pedal here you can control everything so look in my in, did you see the display mode if you feel uncomfortable with this one in calibrating you can click display mode and it's the, it's just in the same act here in page one just the same you just change the display mode because this one is easier than this one okay so i love this display mode so manual con i use control three you see this is my manual if i click manual mode using control 3 pedal master pedal effects click assign button so click manual this is the manual okay you can scroll this one you can change whatever you like one pre up a b eq fx1 fx2 in calibrating your pedal using the control foot switch so we have four control switch now in my boss gt10 so now i want to use um i want to calibrate here in the manual mode settings you can calibrate here also in manual mode setting also here okay plenty of choices guys so where is the manual mode we are here manual mode so the manual mode is on and off only using the control three pedals it's in moment momentary that's my setting and remember this page one you need to turn it on master of on if you don't turn it on it will not um it will not affect what i mean it it will not work if you press control three it will not work if you turn off uh, you see off I press nothing happened see but when I press this password pedal effects this one when you press this one it can turn on and off okay now because we are we are on that's my page one here in assign button my page two my overdrive distortion so this is my control for I control overdrive distortion the type of distortion i want to use tube screamer and rat okay control four momentary why i use momentary because this pedal has its own polarity okay so you decide which kind of uh, control foot, foot switch you buy some of them they don't have polarity they are just um, a plain control foot, foot switch so it's easy to understand guys we are in page 2 okay page 2 it's my control for controlling my overdrive distortion so in my page 3 it's my preamp A this is my preamp A when I click preamp A I have two preamp DC120 and my Marshall 1959 so if I press control 1 control 1 it changes my preamp from clean tone JC120 to uh, dirty pedals a dirty amp it's controlling the using the control 1 pedal this is it control 1 pedal so toggle switch because this one has no polarity as at all guys so I use toggle 
while this one has polarity so that's it in control 4 at uh, page 4 sorry page 4 I use my preamp B this is the preamp B the red lights and preamp B so I have clean twin on my left channel and I have rectifier okay do you understand guys this is dual dual left and right preamp that's why it's both of them are on okay Tagel. and I always you see the page 4 is always on clicking this button is off on so the other one the effects the control 2 I control my FX1 see I have two uh, modulation here in FX1 the pacer and the flanger so I, I do not need to buy extra pedal to put it in my sign in return because I already have two pedals running in my FX1 if I need pacer just click this if I need flanger just click this control 2 and it change so easy guys so turn it on always um, control 2 you see control 2 control 2 control 2 so guys as you can see you can choose whatever you like you can you can choose spacer flanger tremolo univibe vibrato it's up to you but i want pacer sometimes for my clean tone you can use acoustic simulator if you want so pacer and flanger it's up to you guys the only thing i'm telling you today is how to create a patch step by step okay on my page 6 in my fx2 fx1 and fx2 is controlled by my control 2 you see i have tremolo univibe controlled by control 2 toggle switch okay so i turn it off or on it's always on so that this page 6 uh, it's on you can control it using the control 2 or if I don't want to use the control 2 I can use control 3 or control 4 it's up to you so my page 7 nothing it's off and my page 8 is off so uh, it's, it's it depends on you guys so the only thing I'm teaching you today is the proper way on how to use the GT10 in patch 1 you see in patch 1 alone you have plenty of variety of pedals you can use i have four preamp here i have two modulation effect effects here two modulation effects okay you can change also your delay using the control one and control two so let's say you're playing now you're in subscribe now or and then press manual mode settings fx1 i want to use my pacer now my pacer is on if i click it this is spacer so if i need flanger just click it it became flanger okay it's running now now it's spacer so turning turning off go to manual mode turning on off okay on off fx2 on off my delay if i want delay if i want overdrive distortion now this is tube screamer if I press control 4 it become rat I have dry pedals now okay so easy okay so remember the display mode will help you what kind of display mode you need to use if you don't have this and you want always in manual mode just click display mode you are now in manual mode settings okay so guys please don't forget to subscribe on my channel I hope it helps you a lot in on how on how to create a new purchase in your boss GT10. So guys, God bless you all. Please support my channel and I will post many many lessons using the boss GT10 and other effects. Okay? God bless you all. Bye. Just don't forget to save always your settings. Bye bye.